students, welcome to class. What do you see here? Do you see a mother? Do you see her babies? Let's count them together, okay? Let's start on this side. One, two, there's another one lying here. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten babies. Do you see the mother's face? Where is her face? Where is her head? Can she see her babies? Can she smell them? Lick them? Nuzzle them? Can she do anything, any normal behaviors that any mother would when her babies are there beside her? Raise your hand if you know somebody who's had a baby. Who has a baby right now? Maybe a neighbor. Maybe you have a little cousin. Maybe you yourself are a mom. Maybe you are a dad, a new dad. Can you imagine what it would be like if someone you loved was enslaved like this, put in a cage for a crime they never committed and was unable to see their babies, to hug them, to be close to them. Can you imagine what it would be like to be born in a place like this? Would you be bewildered? Would you be maybe looking for somewhere soft to lie down? You know, pigs are just as smart as dogs. Can you picture a world where we would allow anyone to treat dogs this way? Most of you know a dog or have a dog in your life. Can you imagine if somebody took your dog and pinned her down this way, shoved a prod into her vagina and forced her to be pregnant? Each of these individuals will end up on someone's plate. Bacon, sausage, ham. None of them committed any crimes. Does it seem right to you? I became vegan after I saw images like this on my Facebook. Not at first. At first I couldn't believe it. I thought I was looking at some pictures that were maybe fabricated or, or maybe some footage that was taken in another country far away. When somebody first compared the Holocaust that the Jews went through, concentration camps, and being put into gas chambers with what happens to the pigs, I, I was stunned. Like most of you, it seemed like a crazy comparison until I looked further. And then I, I couldn't see a difference anymore. See, humans like animals have one main thing in common, which is that we feel we feel pain, sadness, despair, fear. And when we are allowed to be free, to play, to run and explore and learn, we feel joy. 
What right do we have to do this to a sentient being? What right do we have to walk up to somebody and say, your body is mine, and to slam them into a prison like this? These little piglets, the boys, will be castrated without painkiller. Their tails will be snipped off without painkiller. But my main message here, my main reason for being on social media, is to try to make you understand, or at least see things from my perspective and from the animal's perspective, that we have no right to do this. And deep in our hearts, we don't really want to. I don't think the vast majority of you want this to happen. So why do you let it happen? Is your taste pleasure really worth this much suffering when there are thousands of other choices in the supermarket that you could choose? Why pay for murder if you don't have to? I'm here just to raise awareness. What you do with this information is entirely up to you. I cannot force you to be vegan. I cannot force you to be kind. But I want to remind you of one thing that you probably aren't even aware of or that you have forgotten. You were born vegan. Yes, you were. You never wanted to hurt these animals. When you were little, it never occurred to you to hurt them this way. It's not your fault that your parents fed you their flesh. But now you know. And you can go back to your roots. Because veganism is about the animals. In the end, it's not about food. And I'm here to try to end all animal exploitation. I don't want the cage to be just bigger. I want there to be no cage. I don't want the gas chambers to be painted in bright, pretty colors. I want them to be taken with a screwdriver and disassembled. Don't you? Being vegan is like trying to rescue drowning animals. Desperately pulling them out of the water one by one and having your family, friends, and everyone around you throwing them back in. I'm asking for your help. On their behalf, they cannot speak. They cannot tell you how they feel. Their cries are left unheard by the billions these animals suffer completely needlessly. Everyone can be healthy as a vegan, no matter what stage you are at of development. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has stated that you can be vegan and as a newborn, as a child, a teenager, a mother, a father, a grandparent, a pregnant mother, a lactating mother. There are vegans in the Olympics. There is no excuse for animal abuse. Thank you for listening. If you are getting anything at all out of this video, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. There's a button down there. Do you see it? Subscribe and press the notification bell. Help me get these animals out of hell. Thank you. Coming up on screen will be other videos. There are over a thousand on my channel. Have a look at them. Look around. Thank you so much for being here. I know what I'm telling you. It's not easy to hear. Thank you for opening up your heart. It's a start.